Today I'm going to show you the the cheapest rod for center pin and then the cheapest reels that you can buy brand new on the market right now. I bought I paid forty-seven dollars for this rod. It's a, a four-piece rod. Slip rings. <clears throat> this one's rated some thirteen feet long. It's a light power and line weight is uh, six to ten pounds. Door width is one eight to half ounce. But if you just want to use a uh, centipin reels, you can buy uh, crappie rods from uh, B and M. They have uh, rods from. 10 feet to 14 feet I think and if you don't need uh, the sliding rings because they come with fixed fix reel seats there's somewhere in the middle but uh, those are pretty light except for the 14 feet, uh, 14 foot one that thing is uh, a little heavy this one was $47 and this one was about $25 and then the line was uh, just $7 and uh, that's the box it came in this rod is not bad it just uh, the pieces don't fit right like, uh, <clears throat> when you put them together you can hear hear the hear it wiggling like there's a gap between the the segments the pieces it doesn't fit so I, uh, I wouldn't use it for I wouldn't use it with a spinning reel because I've tried it and then the pieces just came apart or when I was trying to cast it. So, but if you're just gonna swing your your bait with the center pin, it's 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 not bad. And I've caught some big car, uh, carp with this one. <clears throat> And then <clears throat> this one is the pay twenty five dollars for this one, and it's, it's the newer model version of this one, I think. And the old one doesn't have any bearings. And then the clicker is you just gotta push it in and pull it out, and you can adjust the the strength of the clicker at all. But with this one, this one has a spring, so it has a spring. So if you, you know, press the spring, you can make the clicker um, quieter. That's what I did with this one. It's a little quieter, uh, just the way I like it. But if you want it to be like a little tighter, you can always uh, check the spring out, and then you know, widen it. Just, just push it, make it wider. And you can make the gap wider, and then it'll. It will be louder. And with this one, <clears throat> I like how it has a little lever instead of a, like a round button like this. 
Yeah, so it's easier to push. Open one. Press off. On. And I misspelled the ratchet bit. And then the bearings make it a little smoother than the than the old one. But it but it, it's a lot of wiggle right there. But I think it's the bearings itself. If you uh, if you can replace the bearings, I think it will take care of all this extra wiggle. Mm -hmm. But the bearings are expensive, so <clears throat> instead of buying, instead of paying like twenty dollars just for the bear two bearings, uh, for that twenty five plus twenty, that's like forty five dollars. For forty five dollars, you can buy a better. Uh, centipede wheel. So I'm just gonna use it uh, until this breaks. And then one other problem I had with this one is uh, while I was spooling, this thing came off. This little nut uh, just it just fell off, and it happened twice already. Because every time I try to you know, really, my fingers uh, keep hitting the this cap, and then it keeps rotating, you guys. So uh, it's, it's it's come off twice, almost lost it. I think that's the only complaint I've had with this one, with just this. Other than that, the ratchet is good. You can adjust the ratchet. It's smoother than this one, and it's light. You can actually, if you use a heavier weight, you can actually use cast this one like a conventional reel. And that's the box. And I went fishing today. Uh, uh, hopefully, you guys like the video.